Hi everyone! Today I'm talking about a more serious topic, so just wanted to let you guys know, be mature. So in this generation, fake pages, catfishing, uh, or exposed pages, whatever you want to call them, th those kind of things are becoming more common nowadays. So that's kind of something I kind of want to talk about because this is a serious topic, like this isn't something that should be made fun of, this isn't a joke. Things like these can really ruin people's lives. So I kind of want to talk about my thoughts on them. Before I want to talk about anything serious, I kind of want to explain what those pages are so we have a full understanding of what I'm talking about. So a fake page is a page that is made to impersonate somebody or to ruin their reputation. So in short, it's pretty much just pretending that you are somebody else. An exposed page and a thought page, sort of same thing. It's a uh, social media account people make to post somebody else's nude or post a video of somebody doing some sort of sexual activity online. So they could do this by posting a sex video somebody had made, um, a photo of them naked. There are so many different forms and so many different things that people could post. And of course a catfish is somebody who is also impersonating somebody else and getting people online. I, w I would say it's more of like a long distance relationship or an online relationship but the person that they are dating is not the person that they are dating. It's also an MTV show called Catfish, so if you want a bigger idea, I recommend uh, re uh, I recommend watching that show if you want a main idea of what that really is. My thoughts on a fake page. I personally think that if you need to make a fake page of someone and pretend to be them, you are bored with your life. You are literally bored. I sometimes wonder about these people really hurt somebody else's life, you never know. Exposed pages. Now, this is my overall real opinion and I have on people who create exposed pages or personally think that you are mentally ill. Um, and this isn't really a joke to me, I personally think that people who make those pages are mentally ill. If you're angry enough with yourself and your life to ruin somebody else's and put their nude on the internet, you need to see a counselor, a doctor, um, there are so many different places you could call maybe but you need some sort of counseling or go to a mental hospital because I really do think that if you're really that upset I consider that no different than murder almost really like that can ruin somebody's life but once something is on the internet it is never done it's never gone so yeah I just personally think that you are upset with yourself Some people out there commit suicide I'm sure all of you guys know these things they're simple things and knowing that and still putting that online you're a psycho and you're rude, like, get some help. And, um, catfishing, you're also kind of psycho to me too, because that's literally, like, that's like, they know, I can't explain the whole catfishing thing, I guess it's no different than creating, um, a fake account, but you're also making somebody fall in love with you, but you're making them fall in love with a different person, not the actual person, so what exactly is the purpose, you know what I'm saying? So catfishing is also really stupid to me. One thing you can do if you are on a thought page or an exposed page, you can simply just report the account or tell an adult. Now I know that sounds extremely broad, but it really does help. Um, somebody has made a fake page of me before and I reported it and it was it was removed immediately. Uh, every time some people at my old school would make a fake page or a thought list or something like that, when the teachers found out, it was fixed immediately. You know, I mean, there's it's not always fixed right away, but it can increase the chances. So I really recommend telling an adult rather than reporting it, because reporting it is more of a long process. Instagram gets reports all the time, so they're not necessarily going to see it right away. So it would be quicker to tell an adult, but definitely report the count first, and then, you know, tell your parents, a teacher, cop, whatever you want. But here's one thing you cannot do when you are on a page. Do not talk about it online. Don't tweet about it. Don't screenshot the page and then put it on your own. Don't do things like that because that draws more attention to that naked picture of yours or whatever they put online. Those people who just don't want to get caught a snitch for telling somebody, just simply report the page. Um, help, obviously. I mean, I'm sure there were several uh, there were several situations where somebody has reported the account. Here's what you guys need to do. You guys need to stop and think for a minute. If you were one of those people who were on those pages, would you want people sitting there and not doing anything about it because they are afraid to get caught a snitch? Or would you want people to be real about it and just be like, hey, that was messed up, somebody needs to delete this account, I'll go tell an adult or report it or whatever. I'm 100% sure each and every one of you would want somebody to go tell somebody so that it could, the problem can get solved immediately. And that you guys need to realize is that once something is online, it has never gone. I said that before. 
something that a lot of people don't think about and don't know when they make a thought page or impersonate somebody or catfish someone. According to mirror.co.uk, even if you were happy for a naked photo to be taken or took it yourself, it's illegal to post or share it without your permission. It's illegal to post things like that. From texting it to another person or posting it on a revenge porn site. Just even retweeting it can be a crime. Also, you guys need to know that if you are a minor, meaning if you're under 18, I believe under 16, one of those ages, if you're a teenager and you have a nude and it is sent to someone else or if it's on a website that is child pornography, people can go to jail just for having the photo in their phone. It's also an invasion of privacy as well, which is pretty bad. For the fake pages and impersonating other people, criminal impersonation is a crime that is governed by the state laws which vary by state, so in some state they don't really have laws for these things. Yeah, those are the sort of the law facts about those things, so just know if you do do those things, you're gonna get in some sort of trouble that I'm sure you don't want. I also hope that you guys know that there are people out there who have committed suicide over things like this. Um, it's just sad, you know, if you've seen the movie Cyberbully, for example, like even though that is a Hollywood movie or whatever, it's not real, but that is kind of things how, that's kind of how things go in a way. Uh, every time some people at my old school would make a fake page or a thought list or something like that, when the teachers found out, it was fixed immediately. You know, I mean, there's, it's not always fixed right away, but it can increase the chances. So I really recommend telling an adult rather than reporting it because reporting it is more of a long process. Instagram gets reports all the time, so they're not necessarily going to see it right away. So it would be quicker to tell an adult, but definitely report the count first and then, you know, tell your parents, teacher, cop, whatever you want. But here's one thing you cannot do when you are on a page. Do not talk about it online. Don't tweet about it. Don't screenshot the page and then put it on your own. Don't do things like that because that draws more attention to that naked picture of yours or whatever they put online. Those people who just don't want to get caught a snitch for telling somebody, just simply report the page. Um, help, obviously. I mean, I'm sure there were several uh, there were several situations where somebody has reported the account. Here's what you guys need to do. You guys need to stop and think for a minute. If you were one of those people who were on those pages, would you want people sitting there and not doing anything about it because they are afraid to get caught a snitch? Or would you want people to be real about it and just be like, hey, that was messed up, somebody needs to delete this account, I'll go tell an adult or report it or whatever. I'm 100% sure each and every one of you would want somebody to go tell somebody so that it, the problem can get solved immediately. And what you guys need to realize is that once something is online, it has never gone. I said that before something that a lot of people don't think about and don't know when they make a thought page or impersonate somebody or catfish someone. I'm 99.9% .9 sure a lot of you guys would not want to be responsible for somebody else's death and live the rest of your life knowing that because you're an immature psycho teenager, somebody has killed themselves. You know what I'm saying? In short, there will be some sort of consequences for the following things that I just told you about, whether or not it's jail time or someone else's suicide, which could also lead to jail time. But at the end of the day, it's not worth it, guys, so quit creating a bunch of drama fest for no reason.